What's up everybody, my name is Cody Rattler and welcome to my island tour in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Alright guys, the first thing I want you guys to know is that I do have a 5 star rating. I've been playing for over 300 hours now. Uh, last two weeks I haven't been playing as much as I want to. I know that there's a lot of things that I still need to do until the island's where I want it to be, but suffice to say I thought it'd be fun to put together a quick video and just show you where my island's at right now. Uh, again, I've been playing a lot. Uh, I'm very proud of a lot of different areas on the island. Some areas are vacant, I still gotta work on, but today's video we're just gonna dive into highlighting some of my favorite parts of my island. Uh, so first things first, right next to resident services, I have a little pathway here that I'm gonna continue building on with hedges and whatnot, but uh, I've got almost like a little plaza with just various flowers and this really cool well. Uh, and then up here, for those of you that haven't been to my islands, uh, I've built a badass little park. Uh, a lot of this stuff you can't actually interact with, like you can't really sit on, you know, any of this, but I mean, some of the stuff you can. You can just chill if you're looking to hang out at the park, uh, come spend some quality time with some friends. Uh, but moving along, as you follow this path, I've built a, a bridge into the, the more developed section of my villagers. Uh, these are some houses that I put together, as well as a, an awesome little pink flower garden that I'm trying to build. Uh, I realize that there's at least six flowers in the game so far. I've built five rows, which means I'm going to have to extend it. Uh, you guys know how terraforming goes. With a little bit of time in TLC, I can get that to where I want to be. Uh, essentially, I'm just looking to have one of every flower in there. Uh, last night, I had some shooting stars, so of course, seeing some still laying around. Uh, over here, tucked into the bottom left, I have my boy Nate. He's living in this house that I've pretty much just sectioned off into the map. Like I said, uh... I've pretty much made it to where you can only get in right here. Uh, and he's living on his own over there. Up here I've got Gail living in a nice little pink grotto. She's a pink crocodile, so this is kind of why I have the whole pink garden. And I'll probably be replacing a lot of these flowers. Like I said, up until now I've really just been putting things where I feel they should go. I haven't been putting as much love into the, the flowers. I've been letting them grow. Like, clearly you could see them growing in the path here, but... Um, yeah, moving right along, I'm going to be seeing uh, some more houses I have up here. I've built a little yard for puddles. She's got more of a brick theme. I've got the brick wall and the brick oven with a brick well. I gave her her own little... I think those are the wind flowers. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but then this yard, a little bit more undeveloped, underdeveloped. I've got a... See, my thing is I don't want to be putting the same furniture in anybody's yard, including my own. So I've been trying to expand on the furniture I have, but that's kind of a slow build with this game. Uh, in the meantime, really nice star. Really nice star. Okay, getting distracted. Uh, from this underdeveloped house, if you were to cut up here into one of my favorite yards, uh, we've got little Miss Greta. She's a, a little mousy mouse. Like, if there's any way to describe her, she's just very mousy, uh, and she's a mouse. But she has like a, an oriental theme, and because of that, I gave her like this zen feel. Uh, the inside of her house is just a bunch of like almost tea themed, like Japanese tea. Uh, so I felt I would decorate hers accordingly. She's got this awesome bridge. She's got like honestly my favorite yard out of all the villagers. And I gave her this really badass telescope, which if she were to just stand here and gaze out, she could just see out across the island where there's no lights. This is a little dead end grove, but I figured I'll let these flowers grow. I've got some blue and white. Uh, and across here is some flower madness. Guys, when I first started, I put all my flowers in one area. Uh, I was harvesting the um, orchid, orchid mantis, and uh, those spawn on white flowers. So I started that, and then it kind of just spread into a bunch of other flowers. So I got a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, but again, just some TLC. As long as you invest time, you could really make your place look good. Uh, up here, we've got this awesome walkway that leads to our Able Sisters. Uh, one of my favorite spots because, again, I've got a flower patch over here with mums. I've been putting a couple of the rare hy hyacinths on the left, but uh, you can see I've got my little grove over here. If you've seen these little wooden signs around my island, I've got one for pretty much each design. This one had trees on it, so I figured put this right outside my uh, tree or orchard or orchard I can say orchard uh, but yes if you guys haven't seen uh, this idea before essentially you just make rows of fruit trees I've got these QR codes online 
Uh, there are some really talented people out there that can make some really badass. Look at that pair. That is awesome. Uh, but yeah, each row is its own fruit, and I think that's so cool. I put the corral fencing around it and really made it like a, I don't know, just an orchard feel. Um, yeah, it's great. And I am collecting money trees. Uh, and then I'll get to it in a bit, but I built this secret beach, or rather, everybody has their own secret beach on their island. It's always among the northernmost part of your island, but I built a secret entrance to my beach. Now this was before Red had come into the updates. I didn't even know he was coming. Uh, I made it pretty hard to get to my beach, and now it's not so convenient with Red here, but uh, I will show you guys soon where the secret entrance is. Moving along, if you were to follow this path from the Able Sisters, it connects over here to a fork in the road, but I want to show you guys probably one of my favorite parts in the entire island. Uh, this is my museum. Look at how beautiful this is. It's not quite dark enough for these lights to turn on, but uh, I've got a nice flower garden in front of uh, this awesome little triangle-shaped pond. There's only one fish that ever spawns, and it's always right in the center, which is pretty convenient. Uh, and here we've got Nox, uh, an old chicken knight that's fishing, conveniently, as I'm showing you guys. Uh, but yeah, up here is a grand entrance. I built two staircases, stone staircases, up to my museum. I've got an awesome war open sign, and then uh, two skeletons, one with the actual anatomy of the human body and just a skeleton. I didn't even know they moved. That's so cool. I've never clicked on it before. Uh, and yeah, you got the two wind turbines on the sides. Uh, so when I first started playing the game, I made it like a, a thing to buy as many items as I could. Whether or not I liked the item, uh, I figured, you know, like to pump up the, the, the island rating, you needed a lot of stuff. And I bought two of those wind turbines. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but they look good on either side. Uh, moving along, I'm going to skip that right area for now. That's a little under underdeveloped. I want to keep the, the good stuff up in the front of the video, but uh, I've got Nook's Cranny, and it's kind of in the same area that I've built my campsite. Like This whole s like uh, first level area connects back to resident services with this awesome little drawbridge. Uh, but yeah, it's Nook's Cranny and my campsite. Right now I don't have an amiibo or a visitor at this moment, but uh, I've pretty much built anything from the pocket camp uh, items over to a, stuff that would just fit in a campsite. I've got a fireplace and an actual like fired stove, as well as a little like water gallon. You can pretend it's Gatorade or maybe some fruity drink for those of you that are trying to get turned up. Uh, and yeah, I've just built more flowers over here. I got an awesome popcorn machine and some cotton candy. And uh, you don't want to go in the shitter. No one wants to go in there. Uh, one of my favorite items I got from Celeste, a UFO. I felt this was appropriate to put next to the campsite. Uh, to be honest, what I want to do is put a dark patch of dirt under it so it looks like it's landing on the dirt. But uh, let me show you guys what that looks like real quick. All right, once you're up to the UFO, you can click A to interact with it. And it shoots down a little alien. I uh, don't think it makes any noise, but... Yeah, he shoots down and then uh, he looks up slightly and then beams right back up. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, on I think it's Saturday at 3.33 a.m., uh, your TV will turn to static and for one minute, aliens will make a transmission. And it's really badass that they put in this moving UFO. Like, that's so cool. And it's that little alien that makes uh, the transmission too. Moving back down, we are next to resident services. I show you the, this is where we started at. Uh, and of course, up just north is the campsite. If I go right here, I've built a path which goes over to my zebra friend. Uh, I've built her yard to really just be zebra themed. Like you get these custom cushions from Sable. And of course I put the, uh, what is that? The knife jaw barfish or something. I can't remember what it's called, but I pretty much made her all zebra theme. Her name is Savannah because of course she is a zebra that lives in a savanna. Uh, but yeah, I just briefly want to show you the inside of her house. It was just awesome that I had all this furniture that fit. Or not not furniture for inside her house, but for outside. Uh, she came stocked with all this stuff, and it just looks clean. I love the rattan furniture. I love the carpet matching her. She's one of my favorites. She was an amiibo that I brought and welcome to the islands. Her yard, definitely one of my favorites. I'm still expanding. I mean, clearly there's still patches I can build on. I'm not done, guys. Moving along, got more money trees. We got more fruit trees scattered. I've got flowers all across her yard, but uh, another bridge that leads over to this side of my island is pretty underdeveloped, all things considered. 
Uh, this is where my dock is at the southernmost part, uh, right here. And it's cool with the, again, the signs. Uh, this one was a fish one I could make. And I wanted it right next to the dock to show that you could go fishing over here. Got this cooler from CJ, lets you change your clothes. I don't know. Picking up more star fragments. Uh, this is very simplistic yard right now, but this is my direct neighbor, Sprocket. He's a, a robot ostrich chicken thing, but uh, he's a rocker and I'm a rock star, so I thought it was fitting that he lived right next to me. And his yeah, his house is still going, like I said. I, I wanna make sure people don't have duplicated furniture. I think it's just boring seeing the same stuff in different people's yards, but the more I get, the more I will expand. I really like the terracotta flooring and uh, this is gonna bother me. Dig that up. And plant that. Sorry about that, very distracted. Moving along, uh, I'm not gonna go to my house. I'm saving that for last. Uh, I'm gonna run up here, show you guys. I got this weird little like island thing that hangs out and a rock spawned in the center of it. It's cool. I tried moving Sprocket's house over here and even though the house outline fits, it said it couldn't be placed here. Bummer, but whatever. How cool would that have been, a house right there? Uh, again, this whole section is kind of underdeveloped for me. Like, I definitely want to expand on it. I'm kind of raw, raw rugging the island life over on this side. Run along this northernmost beach. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. I put this cool little rock here. I wanted to see if there was any other star fragments. Guys, this is a really cool use of my barbed wire fence. I couldn't figure out how to use this, but eventually I made, again, this secret path that I'll expand on in a second. But this secret path, I wanted to bar off with uh, barbed wire because... It kind of gives that like do not trespass feel. You almost don't want to fall when you're up there too, but I couldn't figure out where else the barbed wire would go. There's no villagers that it felt appropriate for. Anyway, moving up this staircase. And I've got a little underdeveloped section over here. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this. Again, this is our, uh, our secret entrance to the, the hidden beach, but I'll get to that. Uh, run it along. I did want to show you guys. I'm very excited to continue expanding on this. Originally, I had started this as a soccer field. Uh, again, I bought items for the sake of increasing my star rating. So I bought two of these soccer nets. However, I don't want this whole section to just be grass and to have a soccer ball that you can't even kick. You just bounce up and down. And these two goals that really aren't even close to each other. It's just taking up a huge amount of space. Uh, so in the meantime, I started growing roses. Uh, I recently got these. I think these were the last flowers that I was able to attain, obtain. Uh, I'm not really going at it. I just figured I would try put them off to the side and see what I can breed. I got an orange one. I got some pinks here and there, but um, overall, I'm gonna expand on just this whole section. I want it to be something different. I may end up moving my house here eventually. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but again, I thought it would be cool just to show you guys. I think down the line, I'm probably gonna have more Animal Crossing videos, and it's cool to show you where I'm at right now to later come back and see how, how we've progressed. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, Nintendo has at least two to three years of uh, updates for this game ahead of us, so we are in this for the long haul. I truly expect to come back and see that area completely revamped down the line. Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my secret beach. Uh, so I made it a little obvious. I play a lot of Zelda and you know there's always cracks in the wall that tell you where to blow up. I thought these fake trees were hilarious and cute, so it kind of gives away that yes, you should follow the secret path. Come over here. Uh, I wanted to chop it up with a little waterfall. Unfortunately, the way the land cuts, I couldn't make it longer, but it was still pretty cool to build that little section that you have to get across. Uh, and then you would just continuously run all the way down. I pretty much hid that secret path back there. You'd come down and suddenly, bam, you're like right in my little secret beach. Uh, anytime I've brought somebody to my island, I've shown them this and I've come down and just kind of screamed into the void. It's always fun just bringing friends down here and just showing them, you know, there's different things you can do with your beach. Um, had I known Red was coming, I probably would have made it way more convenient to just like cut straight to my beach. Uh, especially for friends, I feel really bad that now it's kind of a bitch to get to him, but uh, I might change it or I might keep it and you guys will just have to suck it up. Alright guys, and now I'm back at Sprocket's house. So uh, from here, I'm going to show you guys my house. If you were to come across this little bridge that I've conjoined, uh, we've got my yard. I built a nice pool, which is ironically right next to a river, which is ironically right next to the beach. I've got all three different types of waters here going on. Uh, so yeah, a pool, a nice little clothesline in the back, and some nice solar panels. I figured if I'm going to drop 4K on those, they're going in my yard, right? 
right? Anyways, uh, I've got quite a few of these Lily of the Valley plants, which you can't get unless your star, your island is a five star rating. Uh, and from there, I think they just continuously randomly appear. I've got a total of five of them in my yard, but uh, I also started my yard with this initial flower patch. Uh, again, I'm probably going to reorganize flowers down the road. There's a whole flower breeding chart, which you can find online. That's wild. That it, You could spend a lot of time on that. I'm just trying to continue to build the island for right now. Whatever I get, I get. Uh, this is my own personal beach. Uh, I don't know how many of you out there thought it would be cool like I did to build your house right on the beach, but I built mine right next to the airport. I wanted it to be very easy to get in and out of the islands. And you guys know when you start this, you put your tent out, you don't really have a whole lot of access to anything. So I kept it close and I've been here since. I've expanded my house. I've paid off everything. I have the basement completely paid off. Uh, my house is a badass black and red. I've got a, a little skull sign that says welcome. Uh, I'll go inside in a sec. Uh, it's very messy as a heads up. I didn't clean it for the video, but uh, for the sake of just showing you guys the island, I want to continue. Uh, these two are mid-conversation. What's the best kind of stuff to wear in a place like this? You mean my yard? Uh, so what are they talking? They want to wear tights. King Kuta. Yes, my boy Ruald calls me King Kuta. Be mad. Anyways, we got distracted with the conversation. Moving along. Uh, this is the entrance to my house. I built uh, the nice little iron fencing around it. Which to me looks like it says, uh, yo, player one lives here. Uh, and this was the entrance of the airport. We started here. So now that I've completely circled the islands, I guess real quick I'll show you guys. I did build myself a little bamboo garden. In the very beginning of the game, resources were very scarce. Uh, I collected a bunch of these bamboos and uh, I wanted these trees to be very close to my house. Uh, I built the bamboo fencing and pretty much all the Zen stuff that I felt was bamboo themed right here. Uh, again, most of this was just for material sake. It's very easy to pop into my backyard and get any of the bamboo I need now. Uh, but yeah, with that we've circled my entire island. I've showed you guys all the good and the bad. Um, there's still some that needs work. Like I said, I haven't been playing as much the last two weeks, but I'm making some progress I'm getting there. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up by showing you guys the inside of my house. I know it's messy. It's not what I really care to show you guys, but this room is the busiest room I have. Like I said, messy. Uh, I've been looking into feng shui, which long story short, it just basically you score high with the HHA if you place certain color furniture around the room. So on the left you have all your yellow items, on the right you have your red, and on the southernmost wall, the one we came in on, you have green. So everything else is fair, fair range, all the other rooms are whatever. I've been scoring really high at the HHA, always getting an S rank, and uh, the last sa Sunday I scored 160,000 points, so I'm not too worried about it. Yes, it's messy. Yes, I will clean it up. I'm telling you guys I want more furniture before I really go into all that. Moving along, I've got my bathroom. Again, cluttered, but I love the starry wallpaper. Celeste gave my girlfriend this, who had crafted it for me. Ah, there she is. I love that Celeste. She's not my girlfriend. I gotta start all that over. Celeste gave my girlfriend the starry wall, which she crafted for me. I happen to have a Celeste poster in my bathroom. Now that we got that all squared away, one quick glance. Pretty badass. I love this place. Uh, and then the next room. Room number three, my bedroom. Uh, a lot of the stuff in here was early item stuff. Again, I still really want to replace things. Like, I don't like any of the block furniture. I think the kid stuff is annoying. Uh, I want bigger tables. I don't like having the single size tables, but yeah. Uh, again, this is bedroom. I don't really come in here very often unless I'm trying to change my look. Figured I'd put all my HHA awards in here. You see them clearly. Also, shout out after the comm, home sweet home. Uh, in the next room, room number four, my music room. Uh, definitely one of my favorites, especially when friends come over. Uh, pretty much any of these instruments make noise when you interact with them. And what I've noticed is it'll often like go off the notes that are playing from the music that you have on. So in this room, I'm obviously rocking KK Metal, uh, but you'll notice that the, the instruments match. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I, I'm i in a band, I play drums, I'm a musician at heart. Uh, this is a room that's just fun to have friends over. Everybody loves getting on an instrument and jamming out. Uh, I won't spend too much more time in here, give you one last good glance. Honestly, I wish the rooms could be expanded in size a little bit bigger. 
because I feel like I want this music room to be bigger. But overall, it's fun. I've been collecting music items. Shout out to all my friends that have been giving me uh, any music item they can get their hands on. Uh, now we're going to go up to the attic. I guess this would be room number five. Uh, the attic, one of my, I would say another favorite of mine. This is definitely like a chill vibe. Like, uh, I love the laboratory wallpaper. Any of the moving wallpapers I'm a sucker for, but it's a lab, like a lab tank. And instead of like something growing inside of it, it's three bells because it's Animal Crossing. Uh, but yeah, one quick, quick glance around the room. Uh, I've got my boy Sprocket up there. Uh, I've got just some board games and just overall it's a place to hang out. Uh, I put the TV in recently and I forgot I even had it. Um, I gotta figure out how I can turn that on without messing with the wardrobe. But anyways, we'll go ahead and move on to the basement. Alright, in the last room, room number six, my basement. I've made it a beachy oasis. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on the wallpaper, I just replaced that earlier today. Uh, in fact, no I don't still have it out. I was going to say I wanted to show you guys what I had up, but uh, yeah, I really just wanted a beachy theme. I've got the sandy uh, flooring, which leaves the footprints. I built a sand castle. I've got the beach ball. Uh, I've got a lot of aquatic critters in here, like uh, the models for the hermit crab and the seahorse. I've got this awesome little water globe and a, a boat and a glass bottle. And I got another pool for in my basement. Who doesn't want a pool in their basement? Uh, yeah, I got a model... Uh, or fish, which is one of the biggest fish in the game, but look at how small the scale is. I thought this would be way bigger. Disappointing. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Alright, you guys, that concludes my Animal Crossing Island tour. Thank you for watching this far into the video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to dip into Animal Crossing to continue to grow my channel. I've been playing A Link to the Past. I'm very close to finishing that game. And I started a new, uh, new game called uh, Lonely Mountains Downhill. Uh, I suck at that, but if you want to see me die and make a fool of myself, that's a lot of fun. Uh, but with that, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please just take a quick moment, hit that bell notification so you know when the next video is out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up. Thank you guys. Adios.